back here with Chris Harp and JJ full house so a season high in hits and runs on Sunday the Yankees offense has been hot for a while JJ how sustainable is this well we're going to find out over the next two weeks because the Yankees beat the living daylights out of a terrible Chicago Cubs team and they did exactly what they were supposed to do on Saturday and Sunday It was the home run display Saturday then it's the Matt Carpenter show on Sunday they're going to face really good pitching over the next couple weeks Tampa has outstanding starting pitching Toronto and Manoa they're going to get the Houston Astros the top of the Yankee order is electric Aaron Judge is playing like an MVP Anthony Rizzo on his power numbers Stanton Glaber on and on we go if the bottom of the Yankee order Order can sustain what it's done over the last couple of weeks. Harp, they're scary, scary good. They are, you know, and, and now that they've signed uh, the reincarnation of Babe Ruth. And I Tyler love it. Oh, the stash, right. baby. <laughs> yeah, this, well, actually, maybe it's Mattingly, you know, with the stash. Oh, okay. But either way, the guy is just hitting home runs left and right. He looks like a born to be a Yankee. But you're right. I mean, look, it's it's always been about uh, the facing tougher pitching for them. That's what has kept them from going deeper in the postseason the last few years. You know, they get to the postseason, they don't get those timely hits. They can't bomb everybody like they do against a bad pitch. And so, as you said, they're going to face better pitching now. And you said, Next couple weeks is going to be a big test for this team. So going off of that, Harp, obviously the Yankees have the highest run differential in the league at plus 127. But how much do you believe that is a byproduct of the week's schedule that they played so far, at least? Yeah, a lot of it is. They played a lot of Orioles, a lot of AL yeah. Central, uh, a lot of those teams. So, uh, you know, I mean, that's those. That's how they've done it for forever. Now they beat up that they're 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 built to bludgeon these bad teams, the bad pitching, and and but that's what you got to do to win divisions. And so they've been a perennial contender by doing that. But I do think you know run differential can definitely be a skewed statistic based on your schedule and things like that when you have a big offensive team. Although they, I mean, their pitching is a big part of it. So I mean, they they they're built to go all the way, but you got to get timely hitting. So that's going to be the the key for them, I think. Guys, it certainly helped, but last year and the year before that, the Yankees weren't exactly taking advantage. You know, the last year That's they true. really yeah. took advantage was 2019. Ironically enough, the last time they went and won the American League East. So I don't think you apologize for no. it. Look, I don't think their run differential is what, like one. Yeah, 15, yeah, 120, yeah. something yeah. along those lines. But if you look around the AL, I think the next closest is the Houston Astros in the low 40s. So it speaks volumes about the way the Yankees are playing and performing. Top notch. No apologies. You play who's on your schedule. Yeah. Um, but let's talk about the lineup. Aaron Judge hit leadoff again Sunday. Harp, do you like him in that spot? And do you see Aaron Boone maybe using him that way more? Yeah, I know he talked about it. Like, he likes putting the pressure on him right away. He likes have maybe having a one nothing lead right out of the box. But I kind of like having somebody in front of him just to give him a little bit more of an RBI opportunity maybe in that first inning. Uh, we'll see how they go. I mean, traditionally, no, you know, a guy like that's hitting third or fourth. But in this lineup, you can get away with it. Now the new analytics tells you the number two guy should be in that spot. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, it is, it is, it, it goes back to kind of that little league formula. You put your best players up there. Get right as many at bats right. as yeah, possible. Right. You and SOI softball. Make sure you're in that one yeah. spot. Yeah, you know, well, we'll see how that went. <laughs> we got footage? I uh, know. We didn't uh, win we'll work all. on that. We didn't win at all. But, uh, <laughs> I can understand why he wants to do it because when you got the power behind him and now if Carpenter's going to be part of this thing, then go ahead and let him do it. Why not? I don't hate it, guys, because first of all, Aaron Judge has been comfortable in the leadoff spot. That's obvious. He's been comfortable just about anywhere this year. But it's that idea that you get him as many at bats as possible. So if you go from Aaron Judge to Anthony Rizzo to John Carlos Stanton, I know that my three best hitters, and I would make the argument those are the three best hitters the Yankees are running out there, they're getting as many at bats. Now, if LeMayu is going yeah, right, yeah. I still love the idea of LeMayu being in that leadoff spot. But LeMayu's been very hot and cold so far this year. They don't so, have a true leadoff guy. That's the thing. They don't have yeah. Kenny Lofton yeah. in their prime. They don't have Chuck Knobloch in their prime. Because I think in a perfect world, Hawk, we're probably talking about LeMayu even as a number two hitter if you're going back to like 80s and 90s baseball. Yeah. Not in this day and age. Yeah. And you keep bringing up LeMayu, and he batted cleanup on this day. So, Harp, do you like him in that spot? I think he can he can hit anywhere. You know what? In this lineup, they you got a lot of swing and miss guys. I think he's still the guy you want in there to kind of break that up and be the guy to get that big two strike out hit, uh, two strike hit. For well, him. everything is looking good so right right now for this Yankees team. We'll see how it goes moving forward.